Yeah. Yeah. Come let me teach you a lesson. Come let me teach you a lesson. Level line with the tweets. Follow me back to my nest. Level line with the podcast. Teach you lesson cause I got class. Level line with the impact. You be lying, that's a real fact. Come let me teach you a lesson. Come let me teach you a lesson. Level line with the tweets. Follow me back to my nest. Welcome to the Lebo Lion Podcast, the biggest marketing and entrepreneurship podcast on the African continent. Guys, today I am so excited for our guest because she's such a powerhouse. I know we're calling this section the power circle because we're talking to women from different parts of the world who've done amazing things. And this woman inspires me so much because she is genuinely walking her talk and doing the things that we all wish we could do to live our best lives. Mbali, welcome to the Devil Lion Podcast. Hi, Lebo. Thank you so much for having me. How are you doing? How are you? How have you been? I'm good. I'm good. So on this podcast, what we usually do is we ask our guests to introduce themselves because often people are misinterpreted, misjudged by people. And I think you're that kind of person who has a very controversial presence online. You know, people love you, but then there are also people who I think just don't understand you. Mm. So tell these people, who is Gorgeous Mbali? Gorgeous Mbali uh, is a girl from Soshanguve, uh, the CEO of Hermosa Flow Cosmetics, Mariana Agency, and Angela SA. Uh, so I started this whole thing, like my businesses. Before this, people knew me as Goja Simbali, the girl from the military. And then now I'm like Goja Simbali, the CEO of, you know, all these companies. And yeah. You know, you inspire me so much because you were able to make your transition from the military to entrepreneurship in a way that looks really effortless. You know, you make mm. it look so easy. But before we go into that transition, tell us about the military. How did you get into that? So I joined the military in, I think, 20, 2008. 2008. I was in TUT doing analytical chemistry, and I was like, yo, this is not for me, hey? Just chilling. In the <laughs> uh, I was like, no, it's, I need something fun and mm. to make money. I always wanted to make money, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so the military, they take you to school. They give you a salary every month, and I was like, this is... A better option for me mm. then that's how i joined the military and besides that i loved it i loved the navy so much that yeah i wanted to be a part of it isn't it hard though the it training like is hard the training is hard i won't lie mm. uh, because you are used to like waking up at seven in the military you're waking up at 3 a.m sometimes sometimes mm. you're waking up at five so they control your time. They control everything. Mm. You just like, uh, I don't know what to say. And so I was looking at your profile with a colleague of mine, and they said, gorgeous somebody looks like somebody who's super focused and she's disciplined. Did you get that from the military? How do mm. you keep going every single day? Consistently you're at the gym. Consistently you're at the office. I think I've been like that. Really? Yes. Even before the like military. That. Mm. And that's why it was such a good because fit for you. I don't like starting something and then just leaving it as is mm. without uh, an outcome that I wanted. Mm. So I keep pushing until I get that outcome out, out of that thing. Mm. So with everything that I start, if I want to see like this as a result, mm. I make sure that I keep pushing, I keep pushing, I keep pushing. I don't give up easily on anything. And I've been like that from like school, like primary and everything. So growing up, did you know that you were going to be Mbali I, Sibabu that I you are today? I knew that I was going to be a big deal. Really? Yes. And is that why you look up to people like Chris Jenner? Because I see in your stories, you're always <laughs> posting the same boss people. Chris <laughs> Jenner, Beyonce, and I'm trying to think who the last one is, but it's always those two. Chris mm. Jenner and Beyonce. Always. Yes. Are those people your inspiration? Why do you show, share them with us? You know what I like about Beyonce? Like her work ethic. Mm. Right? So she's, she'll disappear for a few months. When she comes back, she's banging. She's bringing the fire yeah. to us. <laughs> so even now, you're not like, ah, she's relaxing. You never know what she's up to. Mm. She'll just bring in results. I like that. I don't like, oh, guys, I'm so exhausted today. I've been working hard. No, I like people that bring in results. Mm. Yes, because I've realized that social media has created this thing where people only want to talk about 
what they're doing, but we never see what you're doing. And people are just so okay with that, that they're just creating things, creating things, creating things. And you realize, I think five years later, that you were just talking on social media and not, and not doing anything and not acting. And it's, it's a bad thing. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. I think there's so much posing and posturing yes. online and people have the wrong idea of what success is. So what is success to you? Uh, success mm. to me is seeing all the blessings that God gave you change people's lives. I'm actually going to cry about this mm -hmm. because I see with my life every day, guys, I'm going to cry. It's okay. This is the space, <laughs> you know? This is the power circle, powerful woman cry. So from my mother to people that work with me and people that know me, I want to make sure that their lives are so easy. Like, mm. my blessings, I want my blessings to be their blessings too. And I want to change their lives too. I don't want them to be people that are under me. I want mm. them to be equals with me. And I make sure that I speak life mm. into them so that they can see that there's so much more and they were created to achieve a lot mm. in life and not to just be okay where they are. I love that. Oh I think it, it's so oh, beautiful. Can I take a break? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you guys made me so emotional. Wow. I, I love what you're saying because it speaks about you know, being of service, but oh. also I think something that we don't talk about enough online is letting your circle rise with you, yes. you know? And I think I see that in your page because a lot of the time when someone goes in your stories, you're tagging another female owned business. You know, you're so generous with your platform, highlighting what other people are doing, um, tagging them, making mm. sure other people follow them and buy from them. Why do you support black businesses when we have such a bad rep? Okay, I know the challenges mm -hmm. that we are facing and we deal with every day. Mm. So I know that we can actually grow each other and help each other be better. Mm. And we don't have to destroy each other where we are like, oh, this business. Is. You know, sometimes when you see someone doing something that you don't like, but you know that you can help, just DM the person, hi, can you please give me your numbers? And you share, you're like, you know what? Instead of doing this and this and this, how about you do this and this and this? Even with me, you remember I had this lipstick story? <laughs> I remember. <laughs> I wanted people to, I want black people to not want to destroy something, mm. but to help the next person grow. Because mm. I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm learning. This is my, all these businesses are my first, you know, businesses. I, I was never a business person like in my previous life or anything where people are going to be like, but then you did this for like 60 years or so many years. Mm. Or, but then you learn every day and you... So with black businesses, uh, why am I supporting them? I realized that I don't lose anything hmm. from supporting them. And I realized how other races, they support each other. Mm. And the only thing it takes is just you tagging a business and making sure they get, because God giving me my platform, he was blessing me to do what? To bless other people. So mm. that blessing, my platform is not for me, God just in Bali alone, it's for me to help other people grow too. Mm. So I want to use that and every day I make sure that I do that. And, and, and I've seen that because it's also changed how I do my social media. I think your generosity is contagious. And I think more people need to follow you just to see how to do it right, how to be influential and do it right. Was there a time when you were an influencer? And if there was, would you recommend being an influencer to people? What are the pros and cons? Yes, before him myself learn everything, I was an influencer beauty I, I love beauty i was actually working with pawns mm. at that time before i joined before i went into hemosaf law mm. i was working i had a campaign with pawns i enjoyed being an influencer the money is good is the money really good yes the <laughs> money is good because you're doing what you love every day you're taking pictures and you're getting paid mm. for that the only thing you need to make sure that you do is stay authentic mm. and don't let the whole thing of being an influencer 
change who you are where you feel like other people are below you and i'd recommend it it's like a job it's a job mm. i wouldn't i wouldn't have left the navy okay maybe i would have left the navy but my influencer gig with ponds made it easy for me that money it was the money that kept me floating until i got my pension so without that i think i was gonna have like you know no i can't do this how am i gonna pay for this how am mm. i gonna pay but then with that money i knew that i am set for like six months i was mm. set for six months wow yes that's incredible and you spoke about pension uh, i saw in another interview you were saying you used your pension money to start hermosa floor how did that happen why did you take such a big risk i knew i told you <laughs> that i always knew that there's something in me i knew that i was gonna win i knew when i started the most of law i had no doubts mm. that it was gonna be what i wanted it to be because i know that i'm a hard worker and i knew that my followers were gonna support me and they've been doing that from day one of hermosa flow until today and yeah hermosa flow it is what it is because of the support i get from my followers who i think i got from my influencer days mm. and some yeah so if i'm a young girl and i'm inspired by gorgeous and bagging i want to start a beauty brand what are some of the tips that you can give me so that I can also be as successful My as you are. My favorite tip is do your research, mm. always. Uh, look at other people that are in the industry and just study them and see what they're doing. Mm. That will help you a lot. I used to watch Huda Beauty like this, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you, you check out. I used to go on online, on the internet search, and want to find out and want to understand how she came about with the with Huda Beauty, the brand, mm. and all that. So that helped me a lot. And also, believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Because if you don't, someone is going to come to you and tell you, this is not going to work. And you're going to leave everything as is. Mm. Whereas, and you won't know if it was going to work out or not because you didn't try it. So believe in yourself. Do your research. Uh, study people that are in the industry already and you can find a mentor too to help you when you are facing challenges mm. yeah I think that's and also understand that where you come from where you, ca where you come from doesn't define you mm. you can do anything and you can be anything that you want to be just focus on that and work hard you have to work hard every day it doesn't mean when you start a business you are relaxing you work i think 10 times as hard as your employees yeah actually. it's not just what you see on instagram because yes. people think that being an entrepreneur is like wearing a suit take some pictures no, 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 entrepreneur no. <laughs> yes you work <laughs> 10 times harder yes yeah and you sleep later and yes. you wake up earlier and you, you're there yeah you you are the one doing research for how you're gonna do the next move mm. comes from you and then they're like okay fine okay we are following because they know you are the leader mm. you need to understand that you're a leader so you need to bring in new things and yeah. you know you you started a jewelry line called angela jewelry and i remember seeing your the intro video for it to, to announce it to social media and i thought to myself oh my goodness who came up with this it was directed by <laughs> Dumi powerhouse <laughs> <laughs> it was directed by Dumi powerhouse yeah and yeah what what makes you how do you decide who to work with how do you know who's going to be good for your company lie. first of all energies don't lie mm. and i think god brings the perfect people into my life mm. i don't go looking i don't I actually don't go looking people they just, just find you yeah if it's like a dm uh, they just find me yeah yes you know when you started hermosa flow because i mean when we're on your instagram we see the beautiful signage in your office it all looks so pretty mm -hmm. did it always start like that what was hermosa no. flow when you started what did it look like we actually i was driving with my partner the other day and we passed storage mm. 
and he was like, do you remember that you used to have an office here? It was wow. actually an office. You see the storage, the garage storage? Yes. <laughs> it was the Hermosa Floor office where we used to pack our orders. And yeah, it was an office. Wow. Um, yeah. And then I went, I was packing from home at some point. Then the office came now. And the office is beautiful. Thank you so I much. I want to highlight, there was a time we were trending on Twitter because you made 100,000 rands in sales in the first hour of launching your Lily collection. What did that feel like? How did that happen? Teach us your ways. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> so with Lily, you remember I trended for welcome to the party. Yeah. So I knew that if I add that spice into the lily, then people are going to do the work for me. It's going to be like free marketing where people are like, oh, sharing it on Twitter and everything. Mm. And the launch date was there. The palette was beautiful. All I had to do was just create a beautiful palette. Mm. And they were going to do the marketing for me and make sure that other people know, people that want to buy, yeah. they know when we're launching. And when we launched, it was crazy. Like, yeah, it was crazy. Do you, would you recommend e-commerce for people? Because a lot of people want to sell door to door, you know, physical, normal sales, but you're using a website and a lot of people are afraid of doing that. Would you recommend it? Yes, I highly recommend e-commerce because even with uh, COVID, mm. you are not affected. Like people that do, that have physical stores. Mm. Because you remember there was a point where all stores were closed and everything and only important, you know? Yeah. Yeah, like your Woolies and your shop, right? Uh, so if you're working, if your business is e-commerce, then you can carry on making money. Mm. You're not affected. Is e-commerce expensive to get into? Because a lot of people say, oh, I can't do business online. It's too expensive. Websites are too expensive. No, it's not. Not. It's not. Yes, you can actually, if you want to, you can create a website yourself. Mm. You don't need anyone else to do that. You can do it yourself. But I didn't want to because I I wanted something perfect. Mm. Perfection. Yeah. Is there <laughs> such a thing as perfection, buddy? I want to know. I don't know. I'm trying to see. I keep pushing <laughs> myself every day. <laughs> I want to see if I can like. But I don't. I I want everything like done in a certain way. Do you think that if the people who work with you had to talk about you, what do you think they'd say? Do you think they'd say you're a strict boss? Do you, a what would they say about about you? I'm a perfectionist. Which me, which looks like what? <laughs> Does it look like if something isn't done well? Do you? But I'm in happens? a nice way. Mm. Yeah, in a nice way. I don't think I'm a horrible boss. Yeah. No, what What do you think are the qualities of a good leader? Qualities of a good leader. You need to have. Compassion. Mm. Yes. Very important to have compassion. Emotional intelligence also. Mm. You need to know, like, you need to know how to treat people like people, like human beings. Yeah. How you would want to be treated. And you, you don't have to force, to force people to, no. You don't have to force respect out of people. Mm. People respect you based on how you treat them and how you carry yourself you carry yourself too as a person. So leadership for me is also making sure that when you go out there and you shine and they're like, oh the CEO is driving a G class or whatever <laughs> car, your people are okay. Your people yes. are good. Your people are getting a good salary too. Mm. Not you shining and then your people are suffering. No. I it's love that. Mm. I think that for me is the value of female leaders, you know, because female leaders care about their employees yes. and you see them as a part of a community. It's like a family. It's like a family. Yes, I think family. that's the right word. Yeah. It's a family. And I see that so well, just even with your relationship with Do Me Powerhouse, the way you guys speak to each other, the work that you do together, you can see that there's a real bond mm. in that. I don't know? want people feeling like it's a job. Mm. I want them to be like, we are in this, we are creating this, we are building this together yeah and they know that it, it it's gonna benefit everyone yeah you know when you you are all about you mm. people are gonna be like it, that's where this thing of oh no i don't want to go to bed because anyway we're gonna make money and then uh, it, we are making money for her mm. you are making money for someone else people it, 
because of that yes. but you need to like build this relationship where people understand that the business growing it means also they are growing mm. so you're, they're growing with the business I love that it's like selling your employees into the vision of the company yes. and making them feel like real stakeholders yes. of the business. You know, they also have a share <laughs> in the success you, of it. Yeah, even when they come with like opinions, you respect that. Mm. If they want to suggest something, you respect that. You're not like, no, this is my company. I want to do things like this. No, you listen mm. and you see how you can uh, implement those ideas. I think that's so cool. I wish I had had a boss like you <laughs> growing up. I wish I had one. <laughs> like, <'cause laughs> it's rough in these streets sometimes. I wish, I wish I had one like me too. You know, Mbali, you spoke about leveraging on virality. So the fact that you were trending and you were like, I'm going to sell in this thing. But sometimes people trend for the wrong things. And you've also been on the there's receiving no end of... There's no such thing as bad publicity. Oh, there's no such thing as bad publicity. No. You don't believe in that. The reason why Kim is a billionaire is because of that. Trending. Wow, yes. okay, look at you. you need I, to I love know. that. You see, when you trend, you need to know the next move mm. you're going to make. You need to get the best winner out of that. Yeah. People can be focused on the negative things. Trust me, there's people that... They didn't know that gorgeous Zimbali exists. Mm. But now they're going to know because of that. So you need to package yourself that when they come, they know who you are. Yes. Gorgeous Zimbali, she sells makeup. She's there, la, 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 la. When I trend, the money that we make, it's wow. like the trending that's happening. And I like that. I don't mind that at all. Because I know who, who I am mm. as a person. So whatever people think of me and whatever reasons I trend for, they don't define me. Mm. I understand that. So I just use the trending to grow the brand. That, those are serious boss moves. <laughs> like, yeah. So many people are trying to learn that because a lot of us so fall pe victim. People, you know? when they trend, they want to sleep. They want to act like depressed. I yeah. don't do that. We are working. Mm. We, are, we are launching products that day. If there were products that were in the warehouse or somewhere, we are launching them that week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because you're trending. We are launching them. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you're the first entrepreneur I've ever interviewed who says that and who's literally doing it. You are yeah. coining from that publicity. All publicity is good publicity. It is. So have you ever felt bullied online? And if so, how did you handle that? And how can someone else who's experiencing that handle that and work through it? I think I was bullied for the way I speak. Like I said, you remember yeah. I just spoke about it now. Mm. And for a long time I was not doing interviews and everything, but now I'm finding my voice again because I realized that I have a story to tell. Mm. I can change people's lives with just opening my mouth mm. and sharing my story of where I come from, how I built Hemosa Flow and everything. And just encourage people and now I'm here so <laughs> if you are being bullied it's okay to take some time off you know but know that the person that's doing that the bullying is hurting mm. they are going through the most there's no happy person that wakes up and want to be mean online or say mean things mm. there's something wrong with you yeah. You know when you are happy, even when you want to type something mean, you even call yourself <laughs> into order, like, ah, 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 stop, stop, <laughs> stop, stop. Then you yeah. delete everything. Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, I think, Mbali, the one thing about you and the reason why I wanted you on this podcast so badly is because I really think you're authentic. You know, I don't think that you are just a successful woman online mm. who's living this beautiful life. I really believe that you are a good person. And it comes across so well on your page, you know, your Thank authenticity, you. your kindness, and just your courage. It takes so much courage to do what you're doing, you yeah. know? It's not easy. It's I, not. You make it look easy. On social media, it's not. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's, it's not at all. Never. And you're here doing it with like grace. Like these days where I feel like, why is my business online, on social media, and everything? <laughs> I, I want, like, a month off mm. where I'm just traveling doing things that i love not being not post anything just enjoy life but eh, 
the bills. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who's going to pay the bills <laughs> if you don't go to work? So every day you need to be here just pushing life and everything. So if you could leave my guests with the words, words of wisdom, what mm. would you tell them? Hmm. What? That's a difficult one. I was asked that in an interview once and I like sat for 30 seconds and I was like, what would I tell people? Because there's, there's so many lessons, right? There's like so much. Okay, give us three. Oh, I want to talk about fear and faith. Mm. That fear and faith. The reason why I took that leap of faith, I remember seeing something online. Fear and faith cannot coexist. Mm. And I was like, what? And they explained it, that you need to choose one. If you are scared, you're scared, but you're not gonna do anything. You're not gonna move. You're mm. gonna be in that same position forever and ever and ever. With faith, with faith now, you are just doing it. You're just doing it. And let me tell you, when the universe understands and they can, it, it senses that you are trusting it to work with you on whatever, you will get everything that you want and more. And with me, I, 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 I'm on the faith side the most. I'm never scared of anything because I understand that I can get anything I want to get. And I wake up every day with that mentality and I push that agenda. Yeah. Anyone who's <laughs> listening to the podcast right now, if you're not watching it on YouTube and you're listening to it, you are missing out on just the vibes. Because for me... I'm literally getting like shivers down my spine as you're saying this because I believe in living in faith, you know, yes. and I've seen the fruit of it. I feel like meeting you was living in faith. Everything that's happening is just kind of faith that and, and it happens it at the right time. Yeah. I know you you, you knew of me before. I did. Also on my side, mm. I knew that this live life but when it happened it was like you Yeah. Know, yeah. At the right time, in yes. the right way. Mali, thank you so much for thank joining you so us. Much thank for you for sharing me. your words of wisdom. Thank you for just giving us a peek into the powerhouse that you are. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me, Levo. Before we yeah. go, <laughs> I have one more question for you. What can we expect to see from Bali in the next five years? Five years from now, where is Mbali going to be? Where is her most of law going to be? I'm working on something new. A new something, something, something. Mm -hmm. Uh... I'm not sure yet if I want people to know that I'm behind the brand. Mm. <laughs> Something. I just want to see if uh, the brand is not associated with me. Mm. Is there going to be like a decrease in sales and reception wise? How is it going to work? But I'm working on something new. We are launching something amazing at Hermosa Flow next month. Okay. It's all about being true to yourself as a woman and I'll be working with amazing women on that campaign and that project I am so happy about it and yo guys you're going to see a movie a movie yes because I'm trusting God mm. I'm meeting God halfway and I know that he's going to do it everything that I want him to do and we're gonna also go into physical stores we are working on that. Nice. We are not sure yet if we want to have our own own store okay. or go into an existing uh, retailer yet. But mm. we want to go into physical stores now. Guys, you heard it from Gorgeous and Bali herself. She said it's going to be a movie. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure that you have your popcorn. Make sure that you're ready. Follow the Hermosa for floor. Hermosa floor. My goodness, why am I missing <laughs> so? Follow the Hermosa Floor page, page, the Angela Jewelry page, the Marini, Marina Agency Mariana. page, Mariana Agency page, and Gorgeous and Bali on Instagram. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Lebo. And we'll see you soon, hopefully. You. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> She listen cause I got cash They will lie with the impact You be lying that's a real fact Come let me teach you a lesson Come let me teach you a lesson They will lie with the tweets Follow me back to my nest